This is a first since the start of the rebel offensive in the country mid-December. The United Nations convoy arrived very discreetly in Bangui this morning to replenish the food aid stocks as well as the United Nations peacekeeping mission. Despite this first convoy, armed groups remain present on the country main roads. Violent fighting continues in the region, especially in the northwest, where the National Army is said to have freed several towns, including some located on the main supply road between the Central African Republic and Cameroon. Around 1,500 trucks are still stranded at the Cameroonian border, with 100 of them carrying humanitarian aid. More than 240,000 Central Africans have left their homes because of the fighting and because of the blockage of roads, food aid is struggling to arrive in some areas. And that's without counting access to basic food, even for the non-displaced. Prices have more than tripled in the capital. Humanitarian organizations are already evoking the risk of famines and malnutrition in the region. Nearly 2 million people were already food insecure before the start of the fighting mid-December.